Um, said in pregame, I didn't, we didn't really know a whole lot about our team enough. Uh, we do now. Uh, we got a, a lot, a lot of usable film, a lot of usable situations. Um, I, I maintain Texas A&M is the team I picked in the preseason to win the league. A lot of other coaches did too. Uh, so we know that we're a possession or two away from being in that same conversation. <clears throat> How much did size, you know, I mean, they, they were – the two inside kids go for 33 and 24. That's pretty huge. Game-changing. You know, that, that's, that's pretty much game-changing. Um, I thought at times our first shot defense was pretty good, especially when we went to the man. They were really prepared for us to be in zone, and they had – that first quarter was just a punch in the mouth. Um, and this is a hat partial. You have a full one. Um, it was a kind of a punch in the mouth. But I thought we responded. You know, we talked about wanting to know where we were at. I, I think we know now. Um, but, yeah, the size is something that – it wasn't just the size. It was the size and their skill. I, I'm not going to be that guy that just sets up here and goes, oh, they're bigger than us. Those guys are good. Though, you know, it's, it's a couple of – it's a kid who understands and knows her role. India Jones has killed us two games in a row, three games in a row. And Sierra Johnson's good as anybody in the country at that spot. So, you know, and then to get the play they got from – Kayla Wells, but this is shows the maturity of Kennedy Carter in that she's made everybody on that, that team better. But um, we're going to go home knowing a lot about our team, not disappointed, very encouraged about the next 15 league games. When you yeah. talk about being encouraged, you, you were able once they got into a double-digit lead by A&M to cut that down at halftime and then obviously tie it at 61 yep. to fight in, in your kids tonight. Well, and the pace was important early. You know, we knew that we might get behind a little bit early, but we had to continue to play at that pace because the compounding effect comes out right after halftime, and that's when we got them. So there's a lot of encouragement from that. Um, the pace kept us going. We may have gotten a little tired. I had said, and I was worried about our conditioning a little bit. We had kids having to play 37, 38 hard minutes. So something else that we learned, I, I think, tonight was um, that our conditioning can get better as we go down the line. Four points at halftime ended with 20. What did you say to her at the break? Just stay aggressive. I, I thought that, you know, she continued to get really good shots. It's the adjustment now of being into the SEC that a lot of the things early in the year that were called fouls are not going to be called fouls. We knew it. Uh, we tried to prepare in practice with what we call road rules. But, you know, she normally shoots 10, eight to ten free throws. And so some of that was adjusting to that. Um, but, you know, for her uh, – just continuing to be uber aggressive with the ball and looking for her shot. So I think that's why in the second half, then that opened up others. You know, I thought Kiara Williams had a really, really good second half rolling into space and finding her several times. Lex found her a couple times, IT found her, uh, and Chelsea did. So that's another thing we'll be encouraged about uh, is the resiliency that we had. You about Kiara, but just the way she played tonight, obviously coming off an injury and not a whole lot of minutes in the non-con schedule. Yeah, so she hasn't had the that game heart rate, that game sound in your chest that you get, none of that. So the practice, but she's got so much experience. Uh, and that's why we went to her tonight. Um, I thought the experience was going to pay off big time. I thought she played really good. You mentioned end of game situations being one of the things you hadn't really seen on this team. Now that you have, what'd you think? Uh, not bad for what we've, you know, we, we milked, made the game stretch out. We made it, uh, we got it to a one possession game there and we got a backdoor cut. We called it coming out of a timeout, got a wide open shot. We just didn't make it. Uh, we hadn't practiced it enough. So that's stuff we'll need to practice at game speed. But what I think we'll be able to do is look at it and now know we got to take that to the practice floor to be prepared for those. I thought we milked the clock. We got as most out of the situation. They just they made free throws down the stretch, got it in the right people's hands, um, and then they made. And then when they didn't make the shot, they were rebounding and sticking it back in. They had two crucial stick backs off free throws that were just backbreakers. Any other questions about Texas A&M? Okay, shifting gears a little bit, does anyone have questions about? Just to save y'all a trip up here, just talk about them. Okay. I'm not going to take my coat off like I did last year and make it look like it was two days in a row. Just save you guys a, a day coming up. Um, you know, Auburn on, on the road is always a, a, an intriguing matchup. They do a lot of pressing. They really try to turn you over. We don't turn it over much. We usually don't react uh, to, to press as we normally get open threes. So um, it's a team that does what they do and they stick to it. 
it'll be interesting to see if our plan goes down and travels down there. Uh, did two years ago. Uh, that'll kind of be the plan. They do have another post player. Their best, their best player is their post player. She's had uh, 12 or 13 straight double-doubles. Uh, Unique Thompson is her name. So she'll obviously draw a lot of attention. Um, veteran guard, uh, playing around them. Um, I don't know how they did tonight. So at Vandy? Okay. So we'll see who bounces back best, you know. And, and we talk about that all the time. This, that's what this league does to you. You've got this game, and it's who can learn from it, who can put it behind them the quickest, and who can move on to that next one so that you don't have that two-game losing streak. You don't let, we can't let Texas A&M beat us twice. They're going to be saying they can't let Vandy beat them twice. So it would be interesting to see. But I like our matchups. They're not as big, uh, and they, they play a style of play we really like to play against. All right. Thank you all. Great crowd, too. Really, really good crowd. We're getting there.